fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To be less and worthy to celebrate the holy mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, thus the Lord for pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that he had that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain, you are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. 
If for this life only we have hope in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Just soon. Attend to my outcry, hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Let us all rise for the gospel acclamation. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After this, Jesus journeyed through towns and villages, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve accompanied him, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and maladies. Mary called the Magdalene, from whom seven devils had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Husa, Susanna, and many others, who were assisting them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, Father. 
Aside from being the chaplain of PWU, I am also the parish priest of San Labrador Parish in Pasay City. Since June 2017, in San Isidro Labrador Parish, we came up with the Balik Handog Program. The Balik Handog Program of our parish is one way of collecting funds to shoulder the expenses of the church in terms of electricity, utilities, water, employee salaries and wages, and many more. The Balik Handog funds could also be used for the baptism, confirmation, marriage, and funeral masses of parishioners who can't afford their respective rates. This is not a mere fundraising because its purpose is to carry out the mission of the church in terms of evangelization and saving souls. This is voluntary planned and regular donation in order to defray the expenses of the church. It is like tithing, though different from it, because it is modified. The Balikhandog program is a program which can help the parish in preparation for the eventual removal of the arancel system. After two years, 2019, we already removed the arancel system, the fixed rates for the sacraments, because the Barikando program was of great help. And, especially, and also during this pandemic, the Barikando program was of great help since uh, the lockdown in order to, to sustain the, the church and its needs. Today's Gospel mentioned that Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Susanna, and many others assisted Jesus and his disciples out of their own resources. Many of you have assisted the church out of your means. Although Jesus and the apostles badly need assistance today in the ministry of the church, the value of assisting them is often unknown and unappreciated. Have you tried to assist Jesus and His church in their ministry of preaching God's Word and in the ministry of saving souls for the Kingdom of God? Although we may not often think of assisting the church, the Lord values it very highly. One morning of His resurrection, the risen Lord came first and appeared first to his valuable assistants, who, and he, she is Mary Magdalene. Your mission might be like that of Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Susanna, and many others. That is to assist Jesus and his church today out of your own financial resources or in whatever way you can. Today, ask the Lord to make you like these pious women. Assist Jesus and His Church. Assistance is so important because assistance is love. Amen. Amen. Please all rise. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious for an increase of His presence in our life. For this we say, Use us for Your work, O Lord. Use us for Your work, Lord. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the world, Lord. Use us for your work, Lord. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God even in our difficulties and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your works, Lord. 
that children may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your works, Lord. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your works, Lord. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Use us for your works, Lord. Let us also pray for the speedy recovery of those who are sick, especially Santa and Oliver Roque, we pray. Use us for your works, Lord. In silence, we pray for our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, Help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters and brothers, that as my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept this, your servant's offerings, that what it shall offer to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And is coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down their spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the world that's worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, most especially Bem Villamor, Johnny Hubilla, Rina Hubilla, Sir Noel, and Lee Mendoza. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever
Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. body of Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, not worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
never be alone Just learn to reach out And open your heart Lift up your hands to God He'll show you the Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel for the novena of prayer to the sacred heart of Jesus. Together. Heart of Jesus, fountain, fountain of, every, of blessing. every blessing, I adore, I adore you, you, I love, I love you, and with life be sorrow for my sins, my sins. I, I offer you this poor heart, heart of mine. Make, Make me humble, me humble patient, pure, pure, and holy, obedient, obedient to your will. Grant that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing in all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Now it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet. You derive the faith and confidence in the promise dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask these favors. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all grace and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must I knock if not at the door, to which God gives himself to us, and to which we go to God? I have recourse to the heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation in afflicted, protection in persecuted, strength and burden with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that in God be the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle, you have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. 
I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my mysteries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you, to the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child, and their prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty and Saving God bless and protect you, your families, and your PW community, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace with the protection of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you.